I'm also doing some reporting on rural hospitals in our area um, and the preparedness levels that they have as well, Robin. According to a 2018 state report, there are 173 intensive care beds in Knox County. But if you take all the other counties in our viewing area combined, you combine all of the intensive care beds in all of those other counties, they have fewer than that. They only have 131 beds combined. At Sweetwater Hospital in Monroe County, there's a level of anticipation. The risk from coronavirus looms. We can't share the resources with with sister hospitals because we don't have a sister hospital. This is an independent hospital with seven intensive care beds to serve patients from five East Tennessee counties. Hospital Administrator Scott Bowman says Sweetwater is ready. We have uh, three, about a three month supply of pretty much everything. But other rural hospitals may not be. I think common sense says that the rural hospitals do not have the reserve to respond to the pandemic in the same way our larger urban hospitals have. Carol Myers teaches public health at the University of Tennessee. She says more patients in rural areas have a higher risk from COVID-19. So in general, people who live in rural areas are older, they're poorer, they're sicker, and more are uninsured. There are fewer hospitals with fewer beds to serve them. Beds are essential. They're where you start, but we also have to look at staff. That's also a concern at Sweetwater. Bowman says a handful of nurses quit rather than risk their health from the virus. It's taking so long to get lab results back, he's worried about losing the remaining ones to unwarranted quarantines. We don't want to uh, lose access to our staff because of making lab results. Smaller hospitals still confronting big challenges from COVID-19. In Sweetwater, Cole Sullivan, 10 News. And that Sweetwater Hospital administrator says Knoxville hospitals have reached out to offer any help. Right now, he says his facility is appropriately prepared and able to treat COVID patients.